家好 ，Hi everyone. Thanks for watching Nigeria World video and welcome to Mandarin speaking. Okay, in our earlier videos, we have roughly introduced numbers in Mandarin. In this set of video, we will be do some deep learning about numbers in Chinese. We will teach how to count in Chinese, how to ask questions about numbers in Mandarin. Okay, so if you come to China for a travel or live a while, you need to figuring out things like how specific the number of pounds of meat you want to buy at the market, how much money you want to change at the airport. Or how much that cab ride from your hotel, your travel to China can be a lot more convenient if you understand the basic of numbers in Mandarin. Now let's look at the ten basic numbers. Let's do some reading first. 零，零。Le ying ling ling zero. Yi 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 one. R R R two. Sun. 四安，三，三 ，three， 四，四，四 ，four， 五，五，五 ，five， 六，六。Liu, le yo, liu, liu, six, chi, 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 seven, ba, 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 eight, jiu, jiu. 九九九 ，nine， 十，十，十,十 ，royal turn， 十 ，ten。If the number two comes before a classifier, we should use the word 两 rather than 二 ，so we may say that。You have 两本书 You have two books. 两本书 Two books. 乐一昂两两本书 Rather than you have 二本书两本书 I suggest you listen and practice saying these numbers. At bedtime, and you will be counting sleep in Chinese for no time. I suggest you practice in the seeing these numbers at bedtime, and you will be counting ships in Chinese in no time. After the number ten, numbers are created by saying the word. Ten followed by the single digit that, when added to it, will combine to create numbers eleven through nineteen. It's really easy. For example, eleven is 十一十一 which literally is ten plus one. Same thing goes for twelve 十二 And so on through nineteen. Let's see this form and do some reading. Eleven, 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 
十一 ，eleven， 十二，十二，十二 ，twelve。Roll your tongue when you say 十，十二，十三，十三，十三 ，thirteen， 十四，十四，十四 ，fourteen， 十五。十五，十五 ，fifteen， 十六，十六，十六 ，sixteen， 十七，十七，十七 ，seventeen， 十八，十八。十八 ，eighteen， 十九，十九，十九 ，nineteen。We get to twenty. We have to literally think two tens plus whatever single digit we want to add to and up until nine. For twenty one through twenty nine. Now let's see this table and read after me. Twenty. Twenty. Literally two tens. Twenty. 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 二十一 twenty one, literally two tens plus one, twenty one, 二十一二十二二十二二十二 twenty two, literally two tens plus two, 二十二二十三，二十三，二十三 ，twenty-three。二十四，二十四，二十四 ，twenty-four。二十五，二十五，二十。五 ，twenty-five， 二十六，二十六，二十六 ，twenty-six， 二十七，二十七，二十七 ，twenty-seven， 二十八，二十八。二十八 ，twenty-eight， 二十九，二十九，二十九 ，twenty-nine。The same basic idea goes for 三十 thirty, literally three three tens, 三十 thirty and 四十 ，forty， 五十 ，fifty， 六十 ，sixty， 七十 ，seventy， 八十 ，eighty，and 九十 ，ninety。See, it's really not difficult, and.、Uh, After ninety-nine, we have 一百一百 as a hundred. 一百百不爱百 the third term. 不爱百
Yi bai means a hundred. Bai means hundred. Yi means one. Yi bai means one hundred. Liang bai means two hundred. San bai means three hundred, and so on. Yi qian, qi yi an, qian, the first term, qian, yi qian, one thousand. Qian means thousand, yi qian, one thousand, liang qian, two thousand, san qian, three thousand, si qian, four thousand. Qian means thousand. Chinese people count all the way up to one, ten thousand, one, and then repeat up to yi, which means a hundred million. Unlike in English, where counting goes up to a thousand before being repeated all the way to a million, numbers are represented with the higher units of value first. So the number. 三百八十七 three hundred and eighty-seven. 三百八十七三百 three hundred 八十 eighty-seven 八十七 eighty-seven 八十 eighty-seven 三百八十七 three hundred eighty-seven. Let's see a bigger number. 一万五千四百九十二一万 ten thousand. 一万五万万一万 ten thousand. 五千五千 Five thousand, 四百 four hundred, 九十 ninety, 二 two, 一万五千四百九十二 fifteen thousand four hundred and ninety two. Let's see. Some bigger words, bigger numbers. Numbers from ten thousand to a hundred thousand and beyond. As I just introduced, one ten thousand, one one one. This is a number unit that doesn't exist in English. One. 一万 means ten thousand. 一万 ten thousand. 十万十万 a hundred thousand. 十万一百万一百万一百万 a million. 一百万 a million. 一百万一亿一亿一亿 one hundred million. 一亿 Okay, let's read them all again. 一万一万，十万，十万，一百万，一百万，一亿，一亿。Numbers play an interesting role in everyday speech in China. Sometimes you'll hear someone say that. 你千万不要相信他的话。你
，千万不要相信他的话。你千万不要信他的话。Means no matter what, do not believe what he says. 千 means one thousand, and、uh, one means ten thousand. But when you put those two words together in front of the negative prefix, 不 you emphasize a point even more. 你千万不要信他的话 No matter what, do not believe what he says. You can't believe what he says. Use. 千万 as an emphasis tone. 你千万不要信他的话。Another phrase that has been heard often in Chinese past is the partial phrase 万岁，万岁。One sui means long live. One sui. After this phrase, the person may add the name of someone in power. So you may hear something like Mao Zhuxi, one sui. Mao Zhuxi, one sui. Means long live Chairman Mao. Okay, how about those halves? So, what happens if you want to add a half to anything? You might be asking yourself this about now. Well, the word for half is 半不按半半 and it can either come at the beginning, such as in this sentence, 半杯可乐半杯可乐 A half glass of Coke, 半杯可乐。杯 here can mean glass or cups. 半杯可乐 ，a half glass of Coke. 一杯可乐 ，one glass of Coke. The word 半 can also be put. After a number and a classifier, but before the object to mean and a half, such as in 一个半星期，一个半星期 one and a half a week. 一个半星期 means a week and a half. 一个半星期。If you want to indicate the order of something, add the word "d" before the numeral. "D", the e, "d". Let's do some reading here. 第一，第一，第一 ，first， 第二，第二，第二 ，second， 第三，第三，第三 ，third， 第四，第四，第四。Fourth, 第五五，第五五，第五五 ，fifth， 第六，第六，第六 ，sixth， 第七，第七，第七，第八，第八，第八 ，eighth。第九，第九，第九 ，ninth， 第十，第十 
第十 tenth. If a noun follows the ordinal number, a classifier needs to go in in between, such as these two sentences. 第八个学生，第八个学生，第八个学生，第 eighth student， 第八个学生。And you should remember 个 When we discuss classifiers, we have introduced the word 个 As a all-purpose classifier, if you don't know which classifier to use, you can use "ge," and it can't be wrong. 第一个孩，第一个孩子，第一个孩子，第一个孩子 ，the first child. 第一个孩子。If you want to ask questions about numbers, there are two ways to ask how much something is or how many of something they are. You can either use the question word 多少多少 means how much. When referring to something for which the answer is probably more than ten, 多少 And、uh, you can also use G, G, G. When refer when referring to some when referring to something, for which the answer is probably going to be less than ten, G. Let's see these two sentences. 那个汽车多少钱？那个。汽车多少钱 ？How much is that car? 那个汽车多少钱 ？How much is that car? 你小女儿今年几岁？你小女儿今年几岁 ？How old is your younger? Doctor, how old is your little girl this year? 小女儿，小 means small, little. 女儿 means daughter. 女儿 means daughter. 小女儿 little daughter, little girl. 今年 means this year. 今年几岁？几岁 ？How old? 几 referring to something that the answer might be under ten. 几岁？那个汽车多少钱？那个 means that. 汽车 means car. 多少钱 ？How much? 钱 means money. 多少钱 means how much. 那个汽车多少钱 ？How much is that car? 你小女儿今年几岁 ？How old is your little girl this year? Okay, this is Mandarin speaking class for today. Thank you for watching, and never forget to practice your Mandarin. Wish you all have a lovely day. 再见。